doing here? <laughs> What's good, guys? It's your boy Will back in the building with another video. And today we're going to be talking about audio. As you guys may or may not know, audio is probably like the most important thing inside your video. With this type of setup right here, you want to be as close to a microphone as you possibly can. You want to make sure that you have stuff in your room. Carpet will help because it's going to absorb the sound. Also, I have a closet right here as well. Let me show you. All right, so I just closed my closet and as you probably can hear, it's, it's echoey now. See, if you're filming in a room and you have a closet filled with clothes, open up your closet so that way some of your sound will not reflect off of your closet door and go inside your closet and get absorbed by your clothes. All right, so now we're back to regular and let me know if you can hear a sound difference. The distance between you and the microphone plays a big effect on the audio quality. You don't want to use your built-in microphone on your camera because it's not going to be as great as quality. This now is the microphone from the camera and that's what this sounds like. Here's the clap. I want to show you guys now these acoustic panels that I got off of Amazon. Paid 20 bucks for it. They're 12 by 12, one inch thick. But let's check it out. These are acoustic panels and what they're supposed to do is help with reflections of your voice. These are just a real cheap con. I've always looked at them and I, you know, I wanted to see if they worked. Uh, so as far as looking at it, the quality isn't the greatest. You know, it has like little blemishes on it and you know, whatever. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna try to enhance the audio even better with these panels. Inside of this pack, it, they give you 12 different acoustic panels. The easiest way that I know not to damage your wall is gonna be command strips. All right, so we're gonna be using these. I love these guys. These are like magical right here. These are very, very thin and light. Um, again, these are from a, a company called Foamily. Now, I purchased this product myself. I wasn't gifted this or anything. But I'm going to give you guys my honest review and we're going to test them out and see if they actually work. We're going to go ahead and install these. The way I'm going to do it is I'm going to do uh, one in each corner and then we're going to stick it on the wall. And again, these are great because when you rip it off of the wall, it doesn't leave any marks or anything. So with these command strips, the side that says this red that says command, that's the part you want to stick on the wall and the other side is where you want to stick on whatever you're doing. This is a good representation of how it sounds right now without the panels behind me. And we're gonna go ahead and install the panels in just a second. And then we'll see if it made a difference for this position right here. I have a total of 12. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do six on this side, two rows, and then six on that side, two rows. Very simple, you're just gonna Go ahead and undo the command portion. You wanna make sure you uh, hold this onto the position for at least 30 seconds so it stays on there snug. All right, so we went ahead and we got these up on the wall. One, two. Let me know what you guys think right now. How does it sound? I'm standing about the same distance as I was before I installed those panels. It definitely sounds less echoey to me. We're gonna go ahead and install the last six of them on my main desk behind my monitor on the wall as well. Let's do it. So of course now, just listen. For some reason during this quarantine time, my apartment complex think that it's important to spray paint the buildings. He's literally right here outside the window. Like what the hell, bro? All right, anyways, <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay guys, so it's been a few days since I put the panels up. I reviewed all of the footage and everything and I think it did make a little bit of difference in my opinion, I would say it's about a 10 to 20% improvement. So let's do the clap test. 
Let me know if you can hear a sound difference. I'm still sitting about two and a half feet from my camera and I think it, you know, it did a little something. But the question is, what do you guys think about the product? Would I recommend this? I would say yes. If you're going to get these, I would recommend instead of getting 12, maybe get about 24, 48. Get a larger quantity and fill up more of the space with it if you're really trying to uh, block out some echo and reflection in your room. But just to recap, open up the closet door so your clothes can absorb some of the sound instead of reflecting off of the walls. Buying a microphone will definitely improve the quality. My suggestions would be, if you're on a budget, go with the Star microphone. That one is 20 bucks. If you want more bang for buck, I would choose the Rode Video Micro. That's the one that I'm currently using right now. It's about 60 bucks. And if you wanna go all out, professional, high quality, the best mic that you could probably buy, I would suggest the Rode Video Mic Pro. That one is about 300 bucks. I hope that this was helpful in some way. I hope you learned something. I hope you at least enjoyed some entertainment, learned how to install uh, panels on your wall with the ease of command strips. Let me know what you guys think about this. Are you going to purchase this? Is it worth it? Let me know. But with all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I will catch you guys next time in my next video. Deuces! Yo, he really going ham out there though. Like, why all the days when I'm trying to do like a sound thing, they want to be doing all this? And they, why are they spray paint? It sound like he about to come through the wall. I'm so lost.